Yo, what's up? Lambo here. Another episode of modding. Little short quick so you guys can learn real quick. All right. Next up, i3D mapping. I'm going to show you how this works. They did do away with putting these little node numbers everywhere in the mod, which is cool. I like that because then it makes it a lot simpler just to recall that. It is getting a bit tricky, though, to figure things out. Here's a quick tip. Okay, so we're gonna look right here at truck main component and it's at node zero. We are gonna look up here in the I3D truck main component at node index path zero. Okay, next we're gonna look at truck visual at this node here. And you'll start to notice a pattern here that they are in order on here exactly as they show up inside the scenograph in the Giants editor. And it has to be that way or the mod will cause errors. So it has to be in order. If the wheel cannot, on here, the wheel cannot be before the steering bar or in here, they, they just have to match. Like in, in detail in order. So we'll go axis front left. Axis front left. And then we'll have wheel one. Is that the next wheel one? I don't even see a wheel one. Wheel one right there. And then it has steering bar. And you keep, as we wheel two, and then we go to steering bar, wheel three. So they, the I3D mapping has to be in order. So you set it up here, and then you refer to it later on up here, like steering bar left hydraulic punch, translating parts. So instead of putting in uh, a numerical node number here, you're going to be using um, an assigned Basically, here you're assigning this name to that node. So when the when the code up here references this name, the game knows to go to that node and make it to do whatever the code says it needs to do. I hope that makes sense. If it does, hit that like button. Slap a comment down below what you're having struggles with, and I will make a tutorial on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later.